G'day Reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy, you're watching Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're at Gallery Aquatica and we've had a shipment of corals arrive. This was an exceptionally good shipment of corals, some beautiful colonies. One of our clients has come into Gallery Aquatica, she's picked out some of the best corals and today we're going to take these corals to her tank and we're going to show you exactly how we acclimate and introduce and glue these corals into her tank. Today at Gallery Aquatica is not a training day. It's actually the day we do all of our maintenance on the aquariums. So the shop is a bit of a mess and there's lots of people coming and going. But let's have a look at the corals because we've got some really exciting corals to show you. The first coral that this customer has chosen is a red sign arena. And it's a really beautiful specimen. It's very large, the color is sensational. This one I'll probably be putting on the substrate or I may glue it in, onto a rock in her tank. Um, possibly, most likely, in a lower flow zone. Particularly nice specimen. So, the second coral is this Heliofungia. And the Heliofungias that we typically get are not quite as bright as this one. This is a really nice color. It's got a fluoro green base and the tentacles are a really nice lime green. This is something that I'll put on the substrate in her tank. Let's have a look at the next tank of corals. My second favorite coral that we're going to be taking to this client today is a Dragon Soul Fabia. It is really, really beautiful. The fluoro bright green eyes and what I'm gonna call maroon ridges around the outside. It looks really nice. And the shape of this piece in particular, it's actually quite bent, almost at a right angle. So we'll be able to drape this over the rock. And typically what happens with pieces like this is that the new growth edges of the coral, the colony, will actually go the same fluoro green as the eyes and it almost looks like lava spilling over a rock. So uh, I can't wait to see this piece in her tank. The next coral that we're going to be packing up and taking for this client is a really top grade Wilsoni. Now, we had a number of Wilsoni come in. They're all spectacular, but this one is particularly nice. It has a variety of sort of reds and maroons through it. Uh, it's really nice. You can see how puffy it is. It's showing great polyp extension. It's a particularly nice coral. However, all of these corals, in my opinion, are nowhere near as nice as the star of today's episode. It's a Symphilia, just around the corner. Check it out. This Symphilia is one of the best corals we've got in the shop at the moment. It's absolutely huge. It's a perfect full colony, no broken edges. It's sitting on the substrate and it's loving the amount of light and flow that it's getting. But as it's, it's been in here for a few weeks and over the last few weeks, its color has really uh, come up. We're dosing this tank on Triton and but it's made all the difference to the color of this coral. The fluoro green uh, centers, the sort of maroney burgundy uh, uh, outside of the green, and then the orange trim, it looks really good, but the polyp extension and the size is what makes this piece. So I can't wait to bag this up and get it in this client's tank. I'm gonna start with the red sign arena, and I'm just gonna fill the bag with water, and with LPS like Sinarina, I try and minimize the amount that I take them out of the water. So in other words, this coral is going to stay underwater. And I'm going to flip it up the right way. All right, that's better. So almost certainly, let's see if you can see him. Almost certainly he will uh, retract and that nice bubble will sort of, you know, pull in a little bit. And, but uh, that's a nice, happy sign arena in a bag. So the client lives pretty close, so we're not going to use oxygen. We'll be there in 10 minutes. But we will acclimate the, these corals when we get to the site. So we'll have to make sure we grab one of our Gallery Aquatica acclimators. So, couple of corals that I didn't mention are some fungiers. So two of these fungiers are coming with us today as well. Something that we do have to bear in mind when 
we're adding a significant load of coral into a tank is the increased consumption of calcium, pH and magnesium that the tank is going to go through with more corals uh, sucking more of the calcium, pH and magnesium out of the water. So we'll look at that when we're, when we're on site, but we'll probably increase the amount that the doser is dosing whilst we're there. So for the Will Sonai, it's in the deep end of the display tank. And so we've got Tom, who's gonna reach in and get it. And Tom is actually anatomically engineered for this job. He's got the longest, thinnest arms, and he's able to maneuver down to the bottom of the tank to get the corals from the deep end. Look at him go. Excellent. So for the Symphilia, we've got a small bucket. Now, I'm hoping that it fits in the base of the bucket, but I'm not too sure. So I'll just have to see how I go. Well, it's hard to see with this light, but it fits perfectly. So we have all our corals neatly packed away in this foam box. And the last thing we need is one of our gallery aquatica acclimators. And we're good to go to the clients. So here we are on site. And before we bring the corals inside, we're just going to get set up, put some towers down, make it look like a base camp. So here we go. So here we are at Reef Royale. Let's have a look at the tank before we go and get the corals to put in. So you can see that there's a lot of hammers in this tank. We've got a variety of hammers, all different colors, and they've really got pride of place in this tank. There's this incredible, what I'm gonna call a bent slipper. So it's actually like, or it's almost like a right angle. It's pretty cool, but it's a very bright uh, slipper. There's Acans, we've got some Morphs. There's some Dallas, and you might have noticed a couple of pieces of the Dallas aren't doing very well down there. I think they've been stung by something. Uh, there's Torch Corals, there's a few Torch Corals. Uh, we've got some Recordia, particularly nice one down the other end. More hammers. In fact, this is probably the best hammer. Uh, it's really, Beautiful, toxic, it's sensational. Uh, and more pieces of Dallas. The fish, we've got a single pyramid butterfly. Hopefully we'll put more in in the future, so we've got a school. There's a couple of Pascalis anthias, uh, a few different types, or a few different cardinals. So we've got Bangais and uh, Goldmine Cardinals. There's a harem of clowns. It's a really beautiful tank, it's coming along nicely. But with the addition of the corals that we're putting in today, it's gonna to look sensational. Over the dog barrier. All right, let's have a look. That's our acclimator. Symphilia. It might be hard to see with the light, but it's really uh, unpuffed, it's retracted. Our Wilsonai. All right, so everything's looking good. I'll get them set up for acclimation. So I'm gonna start with the corals that were in our zoa system. And this is the fungia, the heliofungia in the red sign arena. They're all in the same tank, so I'm gonna acclimate them all together. I'm just gonna rinse this bucket.
So trying to be as gentle as possible. As we said, the LPS are a little bit prone to having their tentacles pierced and I try and keep them under the water as much as possible. I don't mind taking Acro and SBS out of the water, but I try and keep LPS under the water. So there's our Helio. Now, the corals can sting other corals when they're acclimating in the bucket. So I'm making sure that there's enough space that they're not gonna to be touching each other. This is also the best opportunity to give them a dip. So I'm gonna use Coral RX and we have Coral RX here on site because of the number of corals we're putting in. So I'll put a few drops of that and stir it in in a sec. The second bucket, we're gonna put our Dragon Soul Fabia and I'm gonna put the Wilsoni in here as well. They are out of separate tanks. However, we run the parameters pretty close. So they should be okay. Uh, so this is the Wilsoni. It's amazing how when you've got corals under normal room light, not under the blues of the LEDs, how different they look. And these are some of the most colorful corals that we have at Gallery Aquatica. And looking at them now, it's hard to see the color, but they'll be in the tank soon. So before I add the dip, I'm gonna start them acclimating. So we've got a Gallery Aquatica acclimator. And this is a tank where this is perfect because it has quite a, a wide blade. I'm able to set it so that it fits over perfectly. And we're going to acclimate these corals faster than we would a fish. So we can start it by pumping on this. I know just Okay. So start it on open is the truth. So that's the speed that we're going to acclimate them. I'm going to do one bucket, two bucket, then the symphilia. So we've got a Coral RX. I'm just gonna change the lights back. Sorry, we said. All right. So with this, it's one mil per 3.8 liters. I reckon we've got about 3.8 liters. So I normally just Go like that. Give it a bit of a stir. Coral RX is excellent for pests. So if we've got any flatworms, nudibranchs, um, bristleworms, things like that, the Coral RX will generally loosen them and then with a bit of a shake of the coral, they'll come off. So we're gonna give it 10 minutes before we put it into the tank. Five or 10 minutes, it's going pretty quickly. All right, and whilst we're acclimating, I'm gonna start testing the water. So, these guys have had enough time. I'm gonna start acclimating these ones, give them their dip. Stir. And I'm gonna put the first batch of corals in. I'm just gonna sit them on the substrate and we'll find homes for them once we've acclimated everything and added it to the tank. Most of the corals that we have to put into the tank today are actually very easy in that they're not going to adhere to the rock at all. The heliofungia, the two little fungias, and the big symphilia are all gonna sit on the substrate. So really, the main uh, three that we're going to glue in place are gonna be the Wilsoni, 
the Dragon Soul, and I think we will actually glue the Sign Arena onto the rock somewhere. So, I uh, might start with the Sign Arena. And as always, we have our CG, and as always, I take the nozzle off and this little red cap off, which usually needs the Lebanon. And I use it like this. Uh, I typically don't, I'm not very conservative with the amount of glue that I use because each of these pieces of coral are exceptionally nice and they certainly warrant the use of five or ten dollars worth of glue. So, I'll try some different places and see what I think. The sign arena may be the hardest. It needs to be an area, a spot where it can pop out. And actually, that might be perfect. There's not a lot of purchase there, but if I can get it to sit in that position, I think it will do really, really well. So you can see I've got a big dollop of glue and I'm expecting this is gonna take a while to set. And the disadvantage, oh boy, it's awkward. The disadvantage of using a large dollop of glue like that is that it takes longer for the glue to set to the point that you can take your hands away. And this one is gonna be the challenge. But certainly feeling the flow in this area, I think that if we can get this to hold, the sign arena is gonna love it. That's exactly how I want it. That's lucky. It's kind of like a perfect spot. So you can appreciate the full length of the piece and the way it wraps around. I mean, the proximity to the chalice is my only concern, but I think we'll be able to keep it far enough away. So again, big doll of glue. And I can see that glue has made good contact. Oh, All right, I'll try again. Oh, well that could be even better. It's funny how sometimes when you drop something or it falls, you end up putting it in a spot which is even better. So the other argument could be that maybe this position will shade the A-can under it a little bit too much, but uh, A-cans are pretty tolerant of low light and uh, I think that it's still gonna get enough light as it is, but definitely we get that wraparound look for the, for the failure, so that's excellent. So, we've almost finished our job for today. We just have to do a couple of things with the filter, clean the protein skimmer out, clean up the algae, but our number one priority for today, getting the new corals in place, is all done. And this section in particular is probably my favorite of almost any tank I can think of. The amount of color with the fabia, the hammers, and of course this absolutely stunning symphilia. That section is so good. I'll aim to get some height, but it'll probably come through the Dallas so that we've got corals occupying this area here. But overall, the tank is coming along really nicely. And I think you'll find that Reef Royale will be one of our best tanks in the coming few months. 
So stay tuned to future episodes of Gallery Aquatica TV. We'll bring you more of Reef Royale. But for now, that's uh, our show for today. So I'm Cam the Fish Guy and happy reefing. <laughs>